Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Welcome, everybody. This is IG Live, and we are going to praise one name today, and that name is Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Master. So come on in. Hello, Anna. Hello, Pastor Rick and Pastor Jane, praying for you like crazy. You are well in the name of Jesus. Hello, Doris, my friend, and Monique, and Tony, and Jill, and uh, you, Chris, and Dr. Hagley, and Angela, and Alan... Uh, Minasi, G friend, what's up? Margaret, hello, hello, blessings, blessings. Saito from Chatsworth, hello. I'm the daughter of the Most High, hello there. Uh, amen, amen. Arturo, what's up? Ellie, all my good friends are here. Arturo, blessings to you. Yoli, yo, yo, what's up? What's up? Mansu, uh, MD, I think that's Dr. Mansu Shock. Hello, doctor. And Yan Yanni, hello. And, um, uh, Izzy, Jackie, hello, hello everyone, blessings to you in the name of Jesus Christ, and we have all, oh, we got the world joining us, this is so good, because we're going to praise one, 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 one name, what's up, eight shekels, I like that, it ain't seven shekels, it ain't nine, it's eight shekels, what's up, eight shekels, what's up, Elliot, and I can know my future. What's up, my future? What's up, Raj? Blessings, blessings upon blessings to you. This is so great to be with you, my um, family. It's uh, eight shekels. It's Mike from Florida. Hello, brother Mike. What's up? What's up, Seta Norian? Blessings to you. Y'all let me know where you're coming from. We got Florida. We got California. We got what? We got Africa. We got all over the world. Seta, hello, hello. Blessings, blessings upon blessings to y'all. We're going to worship the Lord. Um, I'm in, we're in 1 Samuel chapter 1, and I, we're going to do one verse today. Y'all believe? That's crazy. I was trying to get out. New Hampshire, what's up, New Hampshire? What's up, Southern Cali? Uh, Z-I-T-O, hello. Uh, Atlanta, Georgia, I'll be in Atlanta pretty soon, God willing. What's up, Missouri? What's up, upstate New York? Man, Connecticut, hello, Las Vegas, Nevada, and Michigan. Blessings to you all. This is, uh, this is like church family. Uh, members who've never met each other, and we're like church family. I, you know what? I, that's just Jesus. That's all I can say. Only the blood of Jesus. What's up, Swifty? Life forever. Uh, uh, what's up, Martika? What's up, Goris Music? Uh, the, what's up, Two Gomez? Uh, the, only Jesus can bind us together. That's it. Forever 39, Debbie. Hello, Miss Ohio. Yes, yes. And Samantha, Mary. Uh, hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Blessings to you all. This is so much fun. So much fun. Um, you know, as we worship the Lord together, uh, I'm doing good, Swifty. Uh, God's blessings on you. Uh, hello, Peggy Hightower. Yes, yes, Hightower. Um, and we got uh, Belliza. Hello, hello. As we, as we worship the Lord, you know, a song comes to mind. It's like, Jesus, 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 there is something. About that name. Hello, Fresno. Master, Savior, Jesus. Like the fragrance after the rain. Oh, Jesus. We're worshiping Him. Jesus, Jesus. Let all heaven and earth proclaim king and kingdoms will all pass away but there's something about that day father there's something great about your name hallelujah Thank you, Lord. We just praise you. We worship you. Uh, uh, we, if we have a chance, we just bow down before you right now. Our, our, our uh, we may not be able to do that with our knees, uh, but our hearts, our souls, our spirit are just bowing down, saying, "Holy, holy!" I see so many times in baseball or football or any kind of sports, people are constantly doing this and bowing down to a person because they do can do, do a three point shot, at, and that's very skillful, Lord. Uh, but we. We're not bowing down to people. We're bowing down to you because you are holy. And in the midst of our pain and, and in the midst of our sorrow and in the midst of people 
punching us and hitting us and tripping us and sabotaging us and, and trying to tear us down like a, a beast would tear somebody's heart and soul. In the midst of that hardship, Father, our souls just say praise you. Our souls just say thank you. Our souls say you are worthy. Our souls say may we just bow, bow, bow because you are holy, 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 a good God, a righteous God. We give thanks to the Lord for you are good. Your love endures forever and you are worthy no matter what the storm, no matter what the problem, no matter what the sickness, no matter what the diagnosis, no matter what the prognosis, you are worthy because we live above that. We don't live under the sun. We live above the sun. Solomon lived under the sun. We live above the sun. So we thank you, Father, because our communication is with you and we do not trust in people and we do not trust in reports and we do not trust in terrible reports. We don't trust when people try to tear us down. We trust in you because you are God. God, and though we may sit in the darkness and the enemy may laugh at us and people may say, ha, 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 look what happened to you. Though we may be sitting in the darkness, you are our light. You are our light. You are our salvation. You are our hope. You are our joy. And with you, we shall rise. We shall rise. We shall rise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb. To the Lamb of God. Woo! Y'all sensing the spirit of the living God falling on us all over the world. East coast, west coast, all over the world. You sense the spirit of the living God who... He is like a fire. He is like a storm. He is like the wind. He is like tons of fire falling on you right now. And he's cleansing the sicknesses. And he's cleansing that broken heart. And he's taking away that pain, that sorrow, that hardship that you say, I can't go on no more. And he's saying, I am here for you. I am here with you. I will walk beside you. I will never leave you. No matter what you're going through, I got you. Hallelujah. Oh no, hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Amen and amen. Oh Jesus, oh Spirit of the living God, come, come. You are with us here. Uh, I feel your fire. I, I feel your goodness. I feel your spirit. I feel your healing touch. I feel your encouragement. I feel you say to us, don't you worry. Thus saith the Lord, don't you worry. Though you walk through the valley of shadow of death, I am with you and you will not fear nobody. You will not fear their words. You will not fear their threats. You will not fear the when they turn their backs on you. You will not fear tragedy. You will not fear accidents. You will not fear sickness. You will not worry months. Monkey pox, chicken pox, uh, uh, elephant pox, donkey pox, whatever kind of pox you will not fear. You ain't gonna fear. Because a thousand are gonna fall on your side. And ten thousand at your right hand. But it's not gonna come near you. Thus saith the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And if you're sitting there sick, just rise up and say, I will not take this no more. I, my Jesus has died for me. And, and, and you say, I'm already healed. And you say, I don't feel the healing. When Jesus rebuked the, when he rebuked the tree, the fig tree, and he said, die. It died right then, but it was still alive. Everybody's like, hmm, that ain't dead. But you know what? It died at the roots. And if you come on checking the tree going, did it die? No, it's still living. Then I guess it didn't work and you go on your way. No. When you pray, you must believe that you have received. Now, I'm not making that up. That's Mark 11, 24. And it shall come to pass. So don't be digging around and looking at the roots. Did it happen? Did it? Just say, Lord, I prayed. It's done. Thank you. I'm out of my way. I smile like Hannah smiled when she prayed. She didn't have the baby boy Samuel yet, but she smiled. She said, okay, it's done. I'm good. So come on. Come on in the name of Jesus. You're healed. I proclaim that. In the name of Jesus, I mean, it's in the Bible. I ain't telling no lie. I ain't giving you no doctor's report. I'm giving you Jesus' report. And it's all good. All the time. Bam. <laughs> Woo, thank you, Lord. Did you have church right now? I just had myself church. I just prayed myself happy. <laughs> 
It's good to be with the Lord. I'm telling you, ain't nothing else. You think ESPN gonna give me that? I don't think so. All right. Now, how y'all doing? Y'all doing good? What's up, Rain? What's up, Abby Soto? What's up, G? Um, what's up? Um, what's up, Future? Yes. All good. All good. All the time. Yes, yes, yes. So you got your Bibles? We ain't got much to go. It's just one verse. Mm hmm. First Samuel chapter one, verse 19. Uh, we're going to finish first Samuel chapter one this year. <laughs> I don't know. I tried to go all the way to 28. The Lord's like, you better stop right here. Hey, Brittany B. Okay. Hey, what's up, Ignacio B. What's up, uh, uh, Pe uh, Petro Sam. And what's up, Loves Harm Michelle. What's up? Um, and okay, so now look, we're going to finish one verse today. Praise the Lord. And it said, and they rose up in the morning early and worshiped before the Lord and returned and came to their house in Rama and Elkanah knew Hannah, his wife, and the Lord remembered her. I love that. That's so cool. We're going to talk about that. So just exactly where in the world are we, right? Because everybody, you might be joining in for the first time. We're in the middle of Jerusalem here. We're in about 1100 BC before Jesus Christ ever came. This story is 3000 years old. You might say, well, ain't that ancient? No, the Bible is before. I mean, it's, it's like before, during and after. The Bible tells you all kinds of history, but it tells you all kinds of prophecy. So it has tomorrow's news today. So uh, this is a living word. It ain't a dead word like the newspaper. The newspaper dead. The Bible is alive. Hallelujah. So now um, uh, back to our map, right? Beautiful peoples, just so you know where we are. Here we go. Okay. So now we are here. Where are we at? This is the Mediterranean Sea. This is uh, the Sea of Galilee. That's the Jordan River coming down. This is the Dead Sea. And up here, where is Shiloh? Right there. Shiloh is in the middle of Israel. Jerusalem is right there. Right there. That's Jerusalem. Bethlehem is right below. And they're coming up. They're, they're in Shiloh. They're worshiping the Lord. And they're going to come down to Ramah. And Ramah is about eight miles north of Jerusalem. And today's world is called, what's up, Lida? God's blessings on you, girl. That's my sis. Yes. All right. All right, now, what's up, Esther? What's up, Virginia Prince? Look, Rama today is Ramallah. As kids, my daddy and my mama would take us to Ramallah, and we had the best shawarma in Ramallah. And there was like a, a candy store, and it wasn't Krispy Kreme. But it was a candy store with all these little, uh, uh, you know, candies, all kinds of colors and barrels, and you'd like pick it and take it and buy it, and your mama and daddy would buy it, and you'd be eating it. That's right. So it's a cool place for me to remember as I grew up. But Rama, they went back to Rama, their land. But I love this. They rose up. Now, remember, Hannah was childless. Her uh, uh, arch rival, Penina, had, uh, um, and because this man, Elkanah, had two wives, uh, one Hannah, two Penina. He had married Penina because Hannah couldn't have any children. Penina was nasty, nasty girl. And she was like, oh, yeah, I'm so sorry. You can't have any children, huh? Oh, shame. Shame, shame, shame. Yeah. Oh, I, I feel for you. No, she didn't feel for her. She was happy and rejoicing that um, that was that's what was happening to, to Hannah. And so Sa Hannah had gone and prayed, and she was mumbling like, Lord, help me, but no words were coming out. Eli, the priest, thought, oh, that's girl, that girl's drunk. And so um, he, he like, you drunk, huh? She like, no, my Lord, I'm not drunk. I'm just, my spirit is just torn, torn. I'm in infliction. I need help. And, and he like, go your way. Go your way, girl. Go on. Go your way because the Lord has heard your prayer. Go on. And she got up before she even had a son. And um, she, her countenance was changed. She was smiling. That's what you do. When you pray, you must believe that you have received and it shall come to pass. Mark eleven twenty four. That's what she did. Now, she goes and gets her husband. They go back. And I'm sure Penina riding in the car with them. Mm -hmm. and, and Penina's children all smack talking Hannah. And so... Um, but who got the double double hamburger? <laughs> Hannah did. Okay, so now, uh, and and uh, what's her name? Penina only got a, uh, just a hamburger, and I think they even forgot to give her the bun and ketchup. She just got a hamburger. That's all she got. 
<laughs> okay, so now they're going on their way. And I love this. It says they worshiped before the Lord. Before they left, they worshiped before the Lord. And, I, you know, I, I, I want to ask you, when is the last time you and I just worshiped him? Together we worshiped him at the beginning of this segment. It was so much, it was so beautiful. It wasn't planned. It was just spontaneous. And we worshiped him and it was so wonderful. And, you know, I want to go to um, Psalm 95, 6, where it says, come, come, you, you and I together, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord God, our maker, for he, he is our God and, and we are his people. People and the sheep of his pasture. And that to me is so beautiful because it's a relationship. In Isaiah 1, 18, 19, it says, come, let us reason together. And God's inviting you, come, come, uh, forget the former things. Forget what is what has happened to you. Just put put it behind you and say, God, I come as I am. I'm not, my problems are weighing me down. I'm just going to take it off me and just throw it. And I'm coming to you. And, I, and I'm not coming to complain, Papa. I'm, I'm not, I'm a complainer, but I don't want to complain no more. I'm just coming to thank you. I'm just coming to praise you. I'm just coming to worship you because you're worthy. And, and watch your life just change into a sweet fragrance. And I, I'm going to go to um, Psalm Psalm 99. And, and uh, look, it says, the Lord reigns. Let the people tremble. He who sits between the cherubim, let the earth be moved. It starts like that. And it says in verse 6 that Moses and Aaron among his high priests and Samuel among them, that they call upon his name. They called upon the Lord and he answered them. They, they called upon this beautiful name of God. And it says in the last verse in 99.9. Wow, what a number. 99.9. I never noticed that before. But uh, it says 99, exalt the Lord our God and worship at his holy hill. For the Lord our God is holy. Worship him for he is holy. Uh, and you come and like, I don't, I don't feel like it. It got nothing to do with your feelings. It got nothing to do with your feelings. What's up, Ebony? What's up, Mary? Uh, what's up, Silva? Uh, so it's got nothing to do with your feelings. It's got nothing to do with my feelings. Hello, y'all. It's got nothing to do. It's got everything to do with how beautiful our God is. And so uh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Sweetest name I know. Fills my every longing. He's me singing as I go. So we're just going to worship him as we go along. We're going to remember. And Hannah, before she had this child named Samuel, she worshiped him. She didn't say, I'm waiting. And when I see my son, and when I see the Lord gave it to me, and when I see all things are right, and when I see my enemies have just shattered and died and went on their own way, then I'll praise him. No. No. What's up, D. Cure Tango? What's up, Tango? She, uh, uh, hello, Miss Tango. Okay, so that's what she's, she's like. Look, I'm going to worship him now. I'm not going to wait until I get what I asked for. Because God may have something even better for you as you're asking. And you all bummed out that he didn't give it to you or he didn't give it to me. But we're just going to praise him. We're just going to worship him. We're going to exalt his name for he is holy. And we're going to his holy mountain to say thank you, Jesus. 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 Oh, my Jesus. There is something about that name master savior jesus like the fragrance after the rain oh jesus jesus oh jesus let all heaven and earth Proclaim King and kingdoms They'll all pass away But there's something Something precious Something special Something holy Something eternal About that name Amen Amen. We're going back to uh, 1 Samuel 1 verse. 
and uh, before they, so they worshiped before the Lord, and they returned, and they came to their home uh, to Rama, like Ramallah. And uh, Elkanah knew Hannah, his wife. That means they had an intimate relationship. And the Lord remembered her. That's what I want to talk to you about. I think you may think that the Lord has forgotten you. The Lord has left you. The Lord has neglected you. The Lord has not heard you. But I want to tell you today that the Lord has remembered you. Amen. What's up, Piat Rasong? Okay, so the Lord has remembered you. And where, where do we find... Okay, so I love this. And the Lord remembered her. That, that's just a beautiful verse. And, you know, in, in Genesis 8, 1, uh, Noah's, he, he riding on a boat. You know what I'm saying? And it's starting to smell in the ark. Because it's been 40 days, 40 nights, and then the waters are still, you know, it, it stopped raining, but the waters still haven't receded for 150 days. And then it says, and the Lord remembered Noah, I'm going to talk to you about what remember means in a minute. It ain't like, oh my goodness, Jesus, Holy Spirit, come over. I forgot Noah was in the ark. And I just remembered after 190 days he was in. The no, that is not what it means. And this is not what it means when he says the Lord remembered Hannah. That's not what it means. So, you know, and uh, we, we read in, um, it's, um, Genesis 19. We read in Genesis 19 that the Lord remembered Abraham for Lot's sake and say, Lot, look at this. The Lord can remember you, think about you, and help a family member because they ain't right. But he can help a family member because he remembers you. Wow. That's a trip. That's just straight out trip. So in uh, 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 19, the Lord remembered her. Uh, remember in Exodus chapter 2, where the people of Israel were groaning and going, I can't take this, this slavery anymore, 400 years. And the Lord remembered. Wow. So uh, in, in um, Revelation chapter 19, we see, no, it's 18. In Revelation chapter 18, we see that the Lord remembered Babylon. Ooh, that's not a good remember. That's not a, that's a bad remember. Because he's like, I, your, your sins have come up to a certain place. I can't go on no more. This, this is, you gone beyond. You gone like, you, you pulled a Pharaoh on me. You, you just did wrong. Uh, wrong after wrong after wrong after wrong after wrong. And God's mercy is forever. Yet, there is a certain point in sin when he's like, okay, I remember. And, and he acts on it. And, you know, it's, it's like when he, when he says he remembers, it's not like he forgot because it's remembering as if he is moved to action. It's as if you become the spotlight and he puts the spotlight on you and he remembers you. And I want you to remember that today, that God remembers you. I think that's so, there's so many things uh, that I wanted to talk about because um, we just don't have time in this section, but that's okay. There's one more verse I want to share with you, and it's in the book of Psalms. It's in the book of Psalms. It's in 103, Psalm 103, and it's verse uh, 14, and this is for you. It says, for he knows our frame the lord knows our frame and he remembers that we are dust and so the lord remembers you he's not he doesn't have this big stick in his hand he's like oh you made a mistake upside the head that's not that's satan Satan's like uh, getting a foothold, just uh, uh, just uh, get his foot in the door, just because uh, he knows the law, and he's like, oh, you open up, fear opens up the door for Satan. You know, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Fear opens up the door. Satan's like, thank you for being so scared. First, he tells you to be scared. He's like, that's nasty, huh? And you're like, what? What's that? And he's like, that's nasty, huh? That looks actually scary. Yeah, and you're like, oh, it looks good. Uh, you should be afraid. And you're like, yes, I, I'm so afraid. I'm so afraid. I'm so afraid. And he like, sucker. Sucker. He's like, walks in your door. Because he's the one that fooled you and me in the first place. 
to be scared, to fear. And that's why on the other side, God says, thou shalt not fear. Do not fear. Do not fear. I am with you. Do not be dismayed. I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. That's what God says. Satan's like, ooh, scary situation. And you're like, oh, that is scary now. I'm, I'm not supposed to be scared, but I'm scared. And so there it goes. Satan gets a foothold, comes in, and he gets the bat. Boom, boom, boom. And everybody blames God. God's hitting me. God's not hitting you. God hit his son on the cross so you can be free. Somebody better get the story right. Amen. But I wanted you to understand today that God sees all. He is, he is not sitting there and he has not forgotten you. Uh, in Hebrews chapter 4, verse 13, everything is naked before his eyes. It's not like he, he, he's going around going, Oh, I remember my loved one in Connecticut or in Michigan or, or Australia or Africa or, or the Philippines or Armenia or, or Argentina or, or Canada. Or, uh, I just remembered uh, you in Alaska. No, 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 no. When you groan, number one, when you praise, when you worship, oh, he hears, he remembers you. And he also remembers that you and I are made out of dust and our frames are fragile and he wants to carry us like a little sheep in his bosom. So that's what I wanted to tell you about today, that he remembers you in your state, in your situation, in your brokenness, in your hardship, in your heartache. And I just sang and preached myself happy. I hope you got happy and joy in your soul today. Because it's only one name that can do that. Everybody else tries to tear you up. One name boop, will big, build you up, raise you up, hold you up, carry you up. That's Jesus Christ. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Sweetest name I know. Fills my every longing. Keeps me singing as I go. If you don't know Jesus Christ today, come to him and say, Jesus, I, I'm a messed up child. You may be like on top of the mountain. And you may be selling the most things in your company. And you may be getting like diplomas and accolades and trophies. And everybody's like, oh, you're the greatest. And everybody's like, you, 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 yes, yes. And, and you smile, but you get home and you're like, I just... You know, my whole life is empty. It's just empty. I, I just might as well go. Mm, there are people like that. If you're listening right now in the name of Jesus Christ, it is not time for you to go. It's time for you to get up and come to the cross of Calvary where Jesus Christ, he died especially for you, for your sins. And everything you've done in the past, you go, I, you don't know what I've done in the past. It don't matter. Jesus Christ takes that out. No man can do that for you. No movie channel, no TV channel, no nobody channel, no government, no nobody, no politician, no doctor, no lawyer, no accountant, no teacher, no nobody can do that. No family, nobody can do Only Jesus, he takes away your sins. Come and say, I'm a sinner. You're my savior. I come to cross of Calvary. I'm going to be washed free. Oh, free, free, free from all my sins. Jesus throws that in the back of his back and you are free of all your sins and you are redeemed by the blood of the lamb. And if you are sick today, and you say, God has forgotten me. God ain't forgotten you. You just might be digging up uh, and looking at the roots and thinking, you can't be digging. You just like, without seeing, you believe. And when you pray, believe that you have received. It's already done. Received. And it shall come to pass. When you pray, say it's done. Change your countenance. Smile. Stop acting like a Christian with like, praise the Lord. <laughs> No, you better get up and smile. <laughs> Amen, y'all. God bless you. God keep you. Yeah, God shine his face upon you. Next week, I'll be traveling from Tennessee to Georgia, preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. And um, I'm not sure. I might be in the airplane at five o'clock. I'm not sure. Some way, somehow, I'll try to get it done, but I just don't know. So pray for me. 
Uh, and let's go rock the planet for Jesus Christ. Let's praise his name. Only one name to be praised. Amen. Hallelujah. Shalom, shalom, and shalom. Lord bless you and keep you. Shine. I mean, when I say shine, I mean like poof like that. And you'd be like, oh, I'm overwhelmed. Oh, I'm overwhelmed. Shine his face upon you. <laughs> So that, that overwhelming feeling would just carry you. It would just carry you. Right? Amen? Amen. I love you all. Be blessed. Be good. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. See y'all. Bye-bye.